Today I have a quick tip for you. In the latest Swift 5.7, a very handy little feature has been added. It is the if let shorthand for shadowing an existing optional variable. When unwrapping an optional value, we are usually creating a new variable with the same name. Let's make this one optional and let's unwrap it. We are so used to it that this is a second nature, but this creates unnecessary repeat. Sometimes a variable can be long, so it takes a lot of space on the screen. Swift 5.7 introduced a shorthand syntax for optional binding when shadowing an existing variable. So we can just do this. And it will be unwrapped. Simple and short. Just keep in mind that here a second shadow variable has been created. Let's change it to var. and change the value of the string. And print it. Also let's print it below this scope. And the result is hey and optional hello playground. The reason why is that this greeting variable is shadowing this original greeting variable and it is only visible in this scope. This new syntax also supports guard let, so typical guard let self equals self will be also simplified. Let's create a sample class with closure. And add guard self. Let's add a variable and print it, so we can be sure that this self works. Create an instance and call hello. And execute the closure. So it works as expected. We have hey printed in this console. Like with existing optional bindings, we can use the implicit self reference to unwrap optional members of self. These optional greetings can be unwrapped like this. It is the same as this. But because self is implicit, we don't need to provide it. Last but not least, the new let shorthand does not support unwrapping for members nested in other objects. So this one will not work. In the next video, I'll be talking about what's new in the Swift 5.7. Right now, I just wanted to share this quick one as it's so far my favorite feature from the latest Swift. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.